Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new scoreboard tag system implemented in the 15 week 32 snapshots. These tags are, well, they seem to be meant to replace using objectives to track whether a player or entity has or has done something. For example, I have this thing over here that will check whether I have a dragon on my head, and if I do, then it will give me the levitation effect. Previously, you'd have to use an objective for this, and you'd have to give a player a score of 1 in that objective if they had a dragon head, and 0 if they took it off. But now, you can just apply tags, and it will replace the objective. So, as you can see here, I have uh, no objectives currently added, but I can still use this functionality. So I'll put on the head, turn on the system, and I'm floating. If I take off the head, I'm falling and I'll put it on, and I'll float again, and take it off, and I fall. So that's the basic functionality of these tags, and now I'm going to show you how to use them. If you go to the scoreboard command, it's in players, tag, and you can add, remove, or list, and add will put a new tag, remove will remove a certain tag, and list will list all the tags on that player or entity, so you can have multiple tags and the tag name is just what you would call it and the data tag is what you would test for to apply the tag so in this example I am tagging everyone with the tag called dragon who has an inventory who has the dragon head on slot 103b in their inventory so if you have the dragon head I will tag you as dragon then I would just apply the levitation effect to everyone with tag equals dragon. That's how you test for the tag in the selector like this. Then just for in a, to remove the tag, I'm doing this every tick because I can't test for not a dragon head. I could test like for a helmet or for a blank space, but since I can't just test for anything except a dragon head, I'm removing the tag each tick and then this just resets the clock. So basically I just set the tag every tick for anyone who has the dragon skull, and then I apply the effect, and then I remove the tag. I have some more examples over here, so this doesn't just work for players, it works for all entities. Now this is an armor stand, and I will be giving it the tag rainbow shirt. Now that I have these command blocks over here, we'll change the color of, it, of its shirt. Then I can remove the tag, and it will stop doing that. I also have a tag called bounce here, so if I add that, it will do a little dance, and if I remove the tag, it will stop. And you can also have multiple tags, as I said, so if I put on both rainbow shirt and bounce, it will do both of those things. And I can remove them, and this works for players too, so I'll just go into F5 mode here, and put on the rainbow shirt. Oh boy. Okay put on the rainbow shirt and now we match and I can also do bounce to do this oh, get in the zone okay now I'm bouncing too and if I just go ahead and list all the tags so scoreboard players tag let's go uh, uh, list uh, wait let's at P list now it will show all the tags I have, bounce and rainbow shirt. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and remove those. And that's how it works. It's pretty simple, nothing revolutionary. As I said, this could be done before with objectives, but now it's just a little bit more convenient. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.